Hello everyone, welcome back to a new session on dentistry and more. Today's topic is Paget's disease or ostitis deformans or leontiasis. So it is a bone remodeling disease. The normal bone is undergoing resorption and bone uh, new bone formation. But if there is exaggerated or abnormal uh, changes in resorption and osteogenesis that resorption is uh, loss of bone by the osteoclastic activity and osteogenesis is uh, the lost bone is replaced by new bone so if this process is hampered the disease is known as Paget's disease so let's get into the details of Paget's disease Paget's disease is a bone remodeling disease. The normal bone formation and bone resorption is disturbed or it is exaggerated. So it is a chronic disorder of bone remodeling process because there will be excessive breakdown of bone and abnormal bone formation. So normally the bone resorption and bone formation happens but here what happens? there is an excessive breakdown of bone and there will be abnormal bone formation so that is a uh, problem with uh, Page's disease the routine uh, nature of bone remodeling is disturbed and excessive breakdown of bone and abnormal bone formation happens it is also known as ostitis deformance because uh, ostitis we know the in uh, the inflammation or itis mm, of bones that is uh, bone inflammation which results in deformation or change in or appearance the formal change the change the shape of change happens and leontiasis it is when it affects the facial bones it gives an appearance of uh, land face so it is uh, seen in many diseases uh, pages disease fibrous dysplasia so that's why it is known as ostatus deformance and leontiasis. So in uh, Paget's disease, uh, usually in a healthy bone what happens? Uh, remodeling uh, which removes the old piece of bone and replaces them with a new, a fresh bone. So that is a normal routine procedure. But what happens in Paget's disease, this process uh, shift out of balance and which results in new bone that is abnormally shaped that is abnormally shaped new bone uh, which could be uh, weak and brittle uh, so that and there will be excessive breakdown of bone at the same place so this process is uh, gone out of balance in Paget's disease. Now let's see the clinical features. It's seen commonly among males, 2 is to 1 ratio compared to females, and it affects the older skeletal bone, uh, which was uh, described first by England, uh, a, a surgeon in England, James Paget's. That's why it got this name, Paget's disease. So basically, it has uh, two types one is inflammatory and uh, congenital. So etiology also, either it could be an inflammatory or a genetical cause. So inflammatory could be a viral infection that is uh, paramyxovirus infection and a mutation in chromosome number 5 could be the etiology of Paget's disease. Well, moving on to the pathogenesis, as I mentioned, it is a bone remodeling disease. There is hypervascular or osteolytic phase. So what happens? There is an initial phase of disorder involves bone resorption by osteoclast. So osteoclastic activity is changed and there will be an intermediate phase. So osteolytic activity and osteoblastic activity is changing and there will be a phase that is known as burnout stage. The normal process of osteoblast and osteoclast is uh, completely changed 
and it gets to a stage known as burnout stage. So burnout bone is formed because of the osteolytic and osteoblastic activity. So before that we need to see the pathophysiology. It has three phases that is lytic phase, mixed lytic and blastic and sclerotic phase. In the first lytic phase where the osteoclast action will be uh, pronounced, there will be more osteoclastic action, the bone resorption is happening. In the second phase, it is both uh, blastic and lytic phase, that is both osteoclast and osteoblast is there and osteoblastic activity, that is the bone formation activity is overtaken the bone resorption, so there will be more bone formation but this forming bone is not of a good quality it is a weaker than the actual bones and while moving to the third stage that sclerotic phase sclerotic phase uh, where the new bone formation is overtaking the bone resorption so the new bone which is formed which is like structurally uh, disorganized and it is also a weaker bone so eventually what happens the osteo blastic activity will be overtaken will uh, overtake the osteoclastic activity there will be more bone formation more uh, weaker bone formation but eventually the osteoblastic activity also slows down and finally there will be a dormant state it will reach and the bone in that dormant state is known as burned out bone or burned out state so it is a mixed uh, effect of osteolytic and osteoclastic activity. So this abnormal matrix persists but cellular activity is nearly absent in the burnout state which is a pathophysiology of Paget's disease. So in uh, symptoms it is usually asymptomatic in earlier stage but may exhibit a variety of non-specific symptoms due to the increased uh, bone remodeling. So it is commonly affecting pelvis, spine, skull and long bones. So basically an individual experience two types of problem. One is bone pain and another one is fractures. So the skeletal deformity includes the bowed legs and frontooccipital skull enlargement. The legs will be bowed and the enlargement of skull in frontal and occipital region. Kyphosis that is a spinal problem. The patient is like a bent a uh, little bit forward that is kyphosis. And there will be warm sensation that is increased blood supply to this abnormal bone. And oh, when this uh, bone impinging on the nerves there will be nerve damage when this abnormal bone formation it impinges on the nerve it causes hearing loss or visual abnormalities and there will be cardiac problems that is cardiac failure could be there and shortness of breath and also it is associated with uh, osteoarthritis vertigo tinnitus deafness and malocclusion osteoporosis so all these are the uh, various symptoms of uh, Paget's disease so when it uh, affects the facial bones, it may give a lion phase, that's why it's known as lantiasis. And in histology, it gives uh, a jigsaw puzzle or mosaic pattern that is a unique feature of Paget's disease. There will be both osteoblast and osteoclast in the section. And investigation, we can uh, find out this disease there will be increased alkaline phosphatase, increased acid phosphatase and increased hydroproline. So while moving on to the x-ray investigation, there is a cotton wool appearance of skull. That is a unique feature, cotton wool appearance. And the next thing is, there will be widening of diploid space and which results in tam or shanter tam shanter appearance. So tam shanter is nothing like when this paget uh, disease happens in skull, when it affects skull, 
there will be widening of the diploic space and an overall enlargement of cranium. So this combined effect with platybasia leads to appearance of the skull which is uh, falling over the facial bone. So that is like Tam O'Shander hat. So Tam O'Shander hat is like which hat or which would fall over the head. So it has this particular appearance, Tam O'Shander appearance, Tam O'Shander hat appearance because of this widening of diploic space, enlargement of cranium with uh, platybasia and uh, which leads to appearance of skull which is falling over the facial bone so that is a uh, time shanter appearance and there will be a candle flame sign which can be seen in longer bones that is blade of grass because of this peculiar appearance of uh, longer bone uh, radiographic feature that is candle flame or blade of grass Cantil flame or blade of grass. So, moving on to differential diagnosis, we have osteomalacia, fibrous dysplasia, multiple myeloma, and osteopetrosis. So, in treatment modalities, uh, we have surgical management for deformity, and we need to control the pain relief of pain and suppression of active diseases uh, can be done using this phosphonates vitamin d and calcitonin so that's all about pages disease which is also known as status deformance or leontiasis so it is uh, improper osteoblastic and osteoclastic activity which results in bone uh, deformation and abnormal bone formation of inferior quality and bone resorption so the takeaway points are one is the cantle flame blade of grass appearance in radiography the burnout stage in its pathogenesis the cotton wool appearance of skull in radiography tam o'shanter appearance of this diploic space and enlarged skull so Tam O'Shanter hat appearance that is also in radiography mosaic jigsaw puzzle appearance in histology so it has basically a mixed osteoclastic osteoblastic effect causing a improper bone formation and resorption so I'll come up with a new di new disease in dentistry and more thank you